Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one then, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about drop shipping delivery times. So when I speak to beginners, the number one thing that's holding people back that they don't believe in drop shipping or they're hesitant about is the delivery times from AliExpress and actually ePack it itself. So everybody's seen it. You can go into AliExpress, find the products, but then even if you pay for like the most expensive courier service within your budget that you can still make a profit from and the fastest one, it's it still quotes 20 to 40 days so that's what we're going to be getting into does it actually take 20 to 40 days so we're going to be jumping into that i'm going to be showing you some previous orders and cases of mine um, i'm going to be showing you the kind of information and tracking links i send to customers to reduce the complaints and refunds because obviously um, the less of those then the better and finally i'm just going to be showing you a couple of quick and easy things you can do in which to re actually reduce those delivery times themselves so that's the topic of video then guys thank you for tuning in before we jump into it though just just a quick thing to mention as always then in every single video just as this one I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me so a chance for me and you then to sit down and talk and just go through anything you want so if you need help with Facebook ads or you want me to review your store that's absolutely fine so if that's the kind of thing you might want to win then all you simply have to do then to enter the draw is leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below as well if you commented on my previous video then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and with that being said then let's get straight into it so e-packet delivery then does it actually take 20 to 40 days before we get into that i just want to share quite a fun fact or it's not really that fun it's just interesting in my opinion um i always wondered then how you can ship something from china to the uk or to the us or to canada for like a couple of dollars maybe three quid whereas if you wanted to send something to somebody in the same country as you it's probably going to cost you the same maybe even a bit more um, and when i went to china i actually found out the reason of how they can actually ship e-packets so cheaply and the reason it's called an e-packet then is because it's down to the weight and size of the object it has to fit certain parameters in order to be able to send on this service because the way it works then is they'll typically have like a cargo plane like this so you can see you can see they'll load the plane up with these pre palletized orders but because the plane is round and these pallets and the boxes are square then obviously there's a lot of dead space which you can see around the edges so what they'll do is they'll actually sell this space to couriers like EMS and um, they'll pretty much just like get these big fishing nets and fill them full of all these e-packet orders in little um, packages and then they'll literally just throw them on the plane into this dead space and it's just a way of companies who are paying and chartering these planes to basically just make the most out of every trip so there's a little fact for you if you enjoyed the fact then make sure you leave a like on the video anyway back into the actual topic in hand then how long does delivery actually take we've all seen it before then so you can go on to aliexpress when you find an awesome product that you want to drop ship um, or just buy for yourself um, you have a look at the shipping methods then and and even if you pay for one of the most expensive and quickest options, um, then you're still looking at, if we have a look at ePacket here, it's quoting 20 to 35 days, um, which is just too long in my opinion. You, you can't build a substantial business if it was actually going to take this long. Um, but from past experience then, so I have been dropshipping for over three years now, then in very, very rare and extreme cases, does it actually take this long? And just to prove this to you then, if we just head over to the official ePacket Express website where you can pretty much just find out anything about ePacket, how it works, the type of products you can send, etc. Um, then I'm just on this page here. So these are countries supported by ePacket shipping from China. So this is from China to all these different countries. And if we just go down to um, so here it is. So these are the average e-packet shipping time. So Brazil, Mexico, Russia, you're looking at um, some pretty substantial time. In fact, that's not too bad, seven to 15 days. That's one of the reasons then why AliExpress is so popular um, with Russian and Ukrainian countries. If you go into like the most popular products and look at the reviews, um, most of the time, the bulk majority of those reviews are from these countries. And it's probably because the shipping times are so quick. But then if you have a look at all other supported countries, so this will include the UK, it will include Canada, it will include the US, it will include Australia etc all the main kind of countries as well as mainland European countries as well um, then you're looking at seven to ten business days which actually isn't too bad and as you can see as opposed to the 20 to 35 days in which it quotes on the website um, is a massive massive improvement so you might be wondering then why on earth do all of the suppliers in fact quote this 20 to 35 days and that is for our protection so AliExpress is pretty good um, they realize that China's full of 
quite a lot of scammers or false factories that start up or they might buy say um, 10,000 units of something and just flog them off really cheap and just shut down and try and basically just scam people out of their monies. So they put certain things into fruition if that's the right word to stop these scammers from happening so one of the things that they do is that for a supplier for a factory company to sell on aliexpress then they have to pay i think it was 1500 us dollars or the equivalent of last time i spoke to one of my suppliers it was 1500 us dollars for them just to essentially have a store in aliexpress so if you're a scammer that's going to put a lot of people off because in china that's quite a significant amount of money anyway the reason they advertise then these um, crazy crazy delivery times is because of the protection aliexpress wants to give its consumers and if so for example then if you were to buy this necklace here and pay for a certain delivery method if it arrives after that then in aliexpress's eyes you've paid for something you haven't received so you can file a dispute um, and you can get a refund for your money so it's just a way of protecting the consumer so the suppliers work on averages they look at that e-packet delivery times they see there's seven to ten business days but then to cover themselves they'll just increase it to make sure that the majority of the orders arrive before the time that's actually quoted because nobody's going to complain about receiving an item quicker than they expected to so this is the reason why they do it so just to give you an example then here's a list of some recent appeals of mine um, if we just open these up you can see there's more and more and more um, i'm just going to blur out the actual product itself because it is one of the products i'm still currently selling but you can see that if you don't get what you pay for then you can actually file a dispute appear there and get your money back and this is one of the handy reasons of when you start doing significant amounts of money why you want to hire a va to take care of things like this because all of these orders added up at about um i'm not sure how expensive these are probably about 10 pound each then you can see that's quite a substantial and significant amount of money that you want to claim back in and just to give you an idea then of how often this actually happens so this is from an old account of mine so i don't mind showing you all of this um, and this store ran for about two years and these are the refund and dispute then. So these are all the ones in which I got my money back on because they didn't arrive on time. Um, and there's 10 per page and in total there's two pages. So that even if that page is full, then that's only 20 orders in the space of two years in which didn't arrive within that time frame. So as you can see, um, the majority of the time it's gonna arrive within it, if not before it. And from past experience, then I can confirm that as well. And believe it or not then, this is actually quite a lot. Um, depending on what your product is, you'll probably experience a lot fewer cases than this. The reason for this being then is because it was one of the first products I ever sold, I didn't really, I weren't really clued up on how customs, etc., worked. And what I come to realize is that because the reason this product took so long then is because it had a battery in it. And battery contains a potential potentially hazardous substance and therefore it took a bit longer for these products to get through customs and duty because there had to be certain checks and certificates that had to be shipped with these products to prove that they were actually safe to come into the EU. The EU have certain regulations and standards for particular products and unless you have the required documentation sent with those products then they're going to get held up and these were typically the ones that didn't get sent with those certifications in which they just stayed in customs and duty and because that was no fault of mine then I was able to to claim my money back. So just to touch quickly now then on how I track these items or the kind of information and links I send to my customers because obviously the less kind of disputes or, or um, complaints and refunds you have to process then the better, the more profitable your business is gonna, do, is gonna be. So one of the things I do then is within all of my Oblo accounts I still adopt this strategy today is I enter this URL here into this box here. Make sure you click save settings once you've entered it in. And what it will do then is that when the order gets fulfilled, my customers will get emailed this link then but Oblo are pretty clever and what essentially they'll do is they'll complete the URL by putting the tracking code on the end of it as well so if I just paste this one here as an example then this is the full tracking code in which they'll get sent and obviously the tracking code that gets put on the end will be unique to their order so just to give you an example then of what they'll see when they go to the URL it will take them to the 17track.net website which in my opinion is the best one um, and then as you can see they can clearly track their order all the way up until the point is delivered now the reason I like 17 tracks so much then 
is because they've got like this traffic light system up here so the customer can clearly see at what point in the process their parcel or their order is in so they can see that it's in transit um, they can see that when it's been delivered they can see if there's an alert or some sort of problem on the order so it's just a really good way of reassuring the customer of when it's actually being delivered so with all that being said then guys i think that pretty much just wraps up everything you need to know about ePacket. if i've left anything out um, and you've got some questions then i welcome them as many as you have um, just make sure you leave a comment down below i always go back to every single person so feel free to spam me with your questions um, if you enjoyed the video then of course please do make sure you leave a like and if you want to be entered into that chance to win that one-to-one -one consultation with me then just make sure you leave a comment down below as well and with that being said then guys let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video so this is the previous video then, um, Shopify Product Research 2019. If you haven't seen it, please do go and check it out. Um, it's quite an interesting tutorial on just how to use the Audience Insights tool um, in order to find passionate audiences that are gonna buy your products. But anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for the URL so we can head over to our random comment picker and find a winner then of this one-to-one -one call. So 37 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much guys for the support. Um, and the winner then of the previous video is John Morlow. So thank you very much, John, for your comment. Please do reach out on Instagram where we can get our call arranged. And guys, if you didn't win this time, then I'm sorry, but if you do just wanna stop trying your luck and get straight down to business and book a call, you can actually do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said then guys, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.